I am angry. So, you may know Oracle, Java is from Oracle, and also VirtualBox, just to name a few examples. And so, you might consider Oracle a retrievable brand. Another service of Oracle is Oracle's Cloud Infrastructure, short OCI. We can basically book computers in Oracle's data center to run servers on. And a big advantage in comparison to other cloud providers is its free tier. Like you get 4 cores, 24 gigs of RAM and 200 gig of disk space, which is very much. And I like to use it a lot. I had 5 different servers on it and I even made a tutorial on how to set up a Minecraft service on an Oracle Cloud instance. Everything was going fine, but one time I suddenly noticed that my instance was offline. Nothing too crazy, I thought it may have crashed, or it's just because I didn't log on to the console for a long time. But then I logged onto my console and went to the instances page and got the following error. You don't have permissions to view these resources in this compartment, try another compartment, or contact your administrator for help. I was confused because I am the administrator, this account belongs to me, there is no other people in my compartment. And after some search where this error could come from, I went to my tenancy page and noticed it was inactive. So I did a Google search and they said that this means that my account was banned and that I have to contact support to get it unbanned. And then I found another user in Oracle's forum back in August and he got help from the Oracle support on it. So I thought it's just a matter of contacting the support and I described this issue in the same customer connect forum. But this issue got absolutely no answer from the support till now. Later I found out that there's a chat on the sites that advertise OCI. So I contacted them and actually got to talk with a human. They asked me for my OCI, probably to check if I'm a paying customer or so. But immediately after I sent that, they sent me the following answer. Dear valuable customer, we apologize for the inconveniences you have faced. We are very sorry. My apologies. This chat support has no visibility on account termination resources. System terminated your account and unfortunately we can't reactivate or restore your account. Thank you for chatting with us. Have a great and happy day. Yes, a great and happy day. Day knowing that all my data is gone and immediately after this message they closed the chat. So I tried it a second time with another person and I begged on at least getting my data back but I got just the same response. At least this person left the have a great and happy day out of the message. And this is where I am right now. Two microfilms from who I have only a three month old backup. So these servers are not really worth playing on anymore. My latest website backup contained all my posts. But it was still an unnecessary complication to set up a new website. And even if I wanted to, I can't create a new OCI free tier account because I am not allowed to use the same credit card I use to create my current account. And I'm definitely not the only one. If you take a search on Oracle's own Plasma Connect forum, you find many people having the same problem. Half a year ago, the support asked them to write their OCIs privately. I don't know if they helped them once they realized that they were a free IT customer, 
but the latest discussion that didn't even get an answer from the support just like mine. And I really don't understand why Oracle is doing this. Because of the point of the three tiers as fives. I think what would make sense that when you need more computing power and want to spend money, that you then choose Oracle service instead of the other cloud services because you know how to use it and you don't want to transfer anything. But who would give Oracle any money after experiencing this? And even if I wanted to upgrade my account to a paid account in the hope that I'm getting better support, I couldn't because I can't even access the upgrade page. Now I am using Google Cloud because it is, as far as I know, the only other cloud provider that gives you all the free cloud computing. But its free resources are way worse than Oracle. Like, it's definitely not a good Minecraft server. I linked a tutorial on how to use that in the video description. So if you are currently using Oracle's free tier, you must reflect if you should take the risk or change the cloud provider. And if you stay by Oracle's free tier, make backups, backups, backups of your data. You must be aware that your accounts could be banned anytime without a warning, without a chance to get your data back. I really hope that Oracle stops doing this shit soon, but I think they won't until this gets more attention. Like there is no other YouTube video dedicated to this, just, just a short mention in another YouTube video, this why I'm making this video. And although some people in the forum said that, I couldn't find any new site mentioning this. So if you like this video, leave a like, write a comment so that more people see it. And that with some hope, Oracle stops doing this shit and reactivates the banned accounts.